oh, it starts off not too bad. And then I th think I'm having a bad trip now. Hey guys, this is my review for Escape Room, a new kind of version of the Saw franchise, because this is definitely going to be a franchise. This movie will definitely do well. The film is based on the recent trend of the whole Escape Room sort of mentality, but with a twist, obviously. It's a life or death situation. Each room is a predictable, someone's going to die of the group until there's one left. And I say that because it's exactly what happens in this movie. After the first two rooms, I was like, okay, him, him and him. And it basically played out exactly that way. It starts off admittedly trying. You can tell that it's trying to make you kind of interested in at least two characters. Uh, the main one being the young girl and the kind of loser grocery guy because you know he's gonna make it. Literally the first thing you see is him coming to the end of the movie. I know what they were trying to do and this has worked with movies admittedly in the past. Uh, one of the best movies I can think of for an example of that is Carlito's Way. Um, another movie though that I can think of that's one of the worst examples of this is f 16 Blocks and this movie it's kind of in the middle it's more so bad and admittedly the film actually does have some pretty cool setups. Some of them are a bit ridiculous uh, just kind of like some of the characters are but some of the rooms like I'd say half of the rooms are actually pretty ingenious in terms of how they present themselves both structurally and through the story. The other half are fucking ridiculous and that ridiculousness goes into the latter half of the film and I'll there's a part that is very very funny very very funny in my opinion it's supposed to be trying to be scary but I was laughing my ass off at this point it's about three quarters of the way through the film and for those of you who know what I'm talking about imagine that's what happened to the writers of the film with the last five minutes because this movie ends obviously on a cliffhanger, obviously building up a, another franchise, but holy f fuck, they go off the deep end. And it just um, becomes so cliched, so ridiculous. It's something out of like an Inspector Gadget ending almost. The film has a setup, absolutely a lunacy setup, but it admittedly is entertaining. The acting is sub-average, if all right, when the characters are trying to be genuine, the rest are very stereotypical. Directing's not bad, at least it's not shot badly, and the escape room setups are not kind of stupid. Like, admittedly, some of them are a bit like, okay, I admittedly could not figure out this shit that fast. I would not survive one of these rooms. I would certainly not. But those uh, epiphany moments, those happen about 20 times in this movie. <laughs> so imagine all those times when House was like, oh, that's the word I needed to hear to apparently figure out the cure to this. That happens a lot in this movie. My favorite character is this guy. He uh, he keeps on telling really bad dad jokes. Otherwise, Escape Room is a fun time <laughs> for the bad reasons. It's not the worst kind of January horror movie, I'll give it that. At least it's somewhat substantial. It just goes off the frickin' deep end with the ending. It, it lost me with its last 20 minutes and then it lost me even further with the final five minutes so unfortunately the ending really drops the movie for me so if you enjoy the first three quarters i enjoyed that to an extent like i knew what i was watching but i was like okay whatever it's entertaining it's giving me some good laughs for bad reasons and then the ending is just what the hell are you guys thinking so in the end i am going to give escape room a two out of seven it's unfortunately low um, but like I said, I just could not take that ending seriously in any means. It just, it just lost me. I was laughing my ass off as I was leaving the theater. Also, the drama in the theater was really weird too. Like a guy dropped his drink and it almost went all over my shoe, but it just missed my shoe. So that was kind of interesting. I think there was a few people who were either stoned or drunk in this theater. Also, once again, doing a shout out to Camp Death 3 in 2D. These guys let me see a preview of the movie a few months ago and the film is coming out officially on Amazon in February. So definitely make sure to check it out. Uh, check out their website. I'll have a link to the Facebook group in the description below and yeah check it out it's a bad fun horror movie and they were nice enough to let me watch it and uh, you know it's a indie canadian feature so gotta support that anyways guys that's all for me see you guys next time